hello guys and welcome back to another video i am ashley for those of you who are new and on today's video i'm just going to be chit chatting and getting my makeup on for the day so if you guys are interested keep watching just uh gonna go ahead and jump in and i am using the milk hydro grip primer for my primer i'm just gonna apply it just oop if i could i don't think i primed it there we go i heard a little there we go heard a little snappy snap so i um i have recovered from c19 y'all and I um this is why my video my last video was so late it was a mess it was a whole mess so this all happened like maybe what's today this was last week no it was like the 20 I'd say the 20th 19 ish the 20th is when I started feeling symptoms and like I believe that it was the new strand the new variant and uh just like every day as it unfolded it just got worse and worse and worse but thank god my case was very very it was, I'm not gonna say very minor because it was bad but it wasn't severe where I had to go to the hospital so uh, let me see. The first day uh, that I felt like a little bit under the weather was Monday. And I was at work and I was making a joke like, oh, you know, my throat feels scratchy. I should go home. <laughs> By the end of the day, it was really scratchy. So, um, went home. Didn't really think too much of it. Um, because I have allergies and like I've been having a real problem with post nasal drip so I take uh, Zyrtec and Flonase for that so I'm like okay you know whatever I'm gonna go I'm gonna go home and like just deal with it take my meds and just drink more water so Tuesday come and I'm like Okay, you know, I feel okay. I don't feel that bad. I'm thinking all this time it's allergies. I'm having allergy symptoms. I'm, you know, having something to do with my allergies. So I didn't think nothing of it. I went on to work Tuesday. Tuesday <laughs> at work, I developed a dry cough. And still at that moment, I'm just chopping it up to allergies. Like, well, you know, sometimes I have a little cough, but it was dry and it wasn't like like persistent enough to be like okay you know what i gonna need to go home none of that so i'm just at work my co-worker my friend kept looking at me like <laughs> this look that we give you know anybody that you don't know, have too many too many coughing episodes going on we looking like mm, are you okay so you know i developed that dry cough um went home Continue to take my meds. Like, okay, it'll go away. It'll go away. So, Wednesday come. I had plans or whatever to go out to dinner. And I just remember, like, feeling super, super tired when I got home from work Wednesday. I remember sitting in front of my mirror, um, you know, getting ready. Like, I just really don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. And I never feel like I don't feel like it. So I'm like, mm, I don't know. You know, I'm starting to become unsure, uncertain. Like, eh, uh, uh. So, um, we go ahead and, like, jump on the expressway to go out to dinner or whatever. But on the way there on the, in, the, in the car I'm like no I'm gonna put this mask on I think we need to put this mask on too so you know because I, I don't know what's going on at this point but we didn't even get like 15 minutes from the house and I'm like you know what no I can't do this turn around uh take me back home 
So, um, we ordered some food, you know, and brought it back to the house. Um, I really didn't feel like eating, but I forced myself to eat anyway. And, um, just kind of went to bed. I still, like, at this point, my cough, like, it was like an on and off thing. So, I, um, I said I ate and I went and I laid down. I'm like, okay. You know, it's not, I'm still not feeling like super weak or tired or anything like that. So, I added just a little bit more concealer here under my eye. So, yeah, at this point, I'm not even really all that, like, weak or anything like that. But I, I was tired. So, I said, you know what, I'm going to eat. I'm going to go to bed. And, like, that night, I started having chills start feeling chills and I'm thinking okay you know this is the first day it's cold weather is changing it's cold outside now no um so I get under my heated blanket and I'm like mm, you know something don't feel right I'm coughing I got chills and I could just remember laying there like God just please you know heal my body I don't know what's going on but I'm gonna lay here and I'm gonna try to get some sleep so I got some sleep finally went to sleep slept all night didn't ever get up and I usually get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom never woke up to go to the bathroom so this was Thursday morning I got up at like 6 and when I got up to get ready for work like it was almost like I couldn't move like everything was so sore like my feet my back my neck everything was hurting so I'm, and still not thinking that it could be COVID, I started getting ready for work. Now, this day, I was extremely tired. Um, I remember just being super weak, tired. Um, I didn't have my cough anymore. I um was just feeling weak. I could barely get dressed. So I'm sitting here in my chair, and I'm just thinking, like, I should go ahead and call Liam. But at this point... When I thought this, I said, you know what, it's too late for me to call in. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just try to drive up here. Maybe I'm just, you know, still not thinking that it's that. So, I um, get ready for work, drive all the way up there. And I work 45 minutes away from my home. So, it was the longest <laughs> drive of my life, man. I felt lethargic. I felt weak. I um, And then, before I even left, I said, you know what? Let me take my temp. Took my temp. It was 102.4. And I have a thermometer that you stick under your tongue. Old school. Well, not the one with the mercury, but the digital. So, um, I still went ahead and drove to work. But I said, you know, once I got to work, being that it was too late for me to call in, I'm like, okay, once I got there, I called an inside of the building. I said, you know, can somebody come out and take my temp? Because I don't feel that great. I don't think I should be coming in the building. Come out, take my temp. There is red 98 point something. I usually read like at 96 all the time, every time I come in for work. But so I went ahead and let management know like, well, you know what? I took my temp and it was 102.4 at home. I don't think I should be here. So she immediately said, well, you feel like crap? I said, yeah, I'm tired. I'm weak. I don't feel good. She said, well, see you next year. <laughs> so I pull over to my parking space and I sit there. For about maybe 20 minutes trying to get myself together because I was just tired I was not ready for this drive home and I'm just sitting there and just like everything was still hurting my back I'm having back pains they felt like labor pains like in my lower back it was just too much so I'm sitting there like you know trying to rest or whatever for a quick second to get myself together for this drive home so um my friend called like well what's wrong and I'm like I don't know I just don't feel good everything hurt my eyes I had a headache and this is another symptom I had a bad bad headache and I don't normally get headaches but it was pounding like it hurt like behind my eyes I could feel pressure behind my eyes it was just hurting like I had a hangover so I'm like everything hurt um get off the phone 
but for my friend and I went on home drove home and I um lay I came back home and I laid across my bed and I said you know what I'm gonna lay here but before I close my eyes and um take a nap I'm gonna call and I'm going to well not call I'm gonna get on the internet and try to find me an appointment to go to to get a COVID test done now this is what I forgot the night prior which was Wednesday I got an at-home COVID test took that and I swabbed my nose they're saying that you should swab the back of your throat but I swabbed my nose and this is before I knew that you you know they're saying swab your throat but I swabbed my nose it came back negative so this is why I said okay maybe I'm just having like some kind of illness it's not COVID it's negative so I went on about my day trying to go to work and I said well you know what once I got home I laid across my bed I made the appointment to go up to a church to get a COVID test done so later on that day I um get up and I you know my appointment was at like five so I get up get ready slip some clothes on go up to the church um waited for about maybe two minutes they swabbed my nose uh, it was a rapid test um when they swabbed my nose though they didn't go that far into my nose like they didn't go they stopped like right at the tip it was like he took the tip of the q-tip it was just like boop and <laughs> that was it so it came back negative so i'm like what is going on like i feel really really sick my nose is running um body aches all of that i'm tired something is going on i said you know what tomorrow this is the 20 this is the 23rd i'm saying tomorrow i'm gonna go to an urgent care and get a test done so next day came this christmas eve i went to an urgent care and got a test done um and i had told her you know like oh you know i just had a, a COVID test done yesterday it was negative and she was like okay well you know got my temp i didn't have a temp anymore i was i told her i was taking tylenol the day before and the temp went down i did have a temp the day before so she um i was tested for flu and COVID. flu negative she came in a room like well you know third time to before she left she's like oh third time to charm i'm like mm, you know yeah sure whatever haha -ha. Cause I didn't feel like when I was there, I didn't feel sick. Still had like a little congestion pressure going on. I'm thinking maybe it's the flu. She came back and she said, "You well, uh, you tested negative for flu, positive for COVID." I'm like, all I could think was, "I'm gonna die," you know. And I'm not, you know, like a super dramatic person, but I do suffer from anxiety, and I have since the pandemic started. So when she told me that i was scared i was crying it was christmas eve um i immediately called one of my managers and told them like i tested positive for COVID. i don't know how the you know protocol works with you notifying the people that we you know serve or work with but um sent my results to my manager and i was off for uh what did i say 10 days i was off i just went back to work this week and boy, I tell you, it's never ending with this mess at this job. So, um, I go home and I was upset and it was Christmas Eve and I was resting. I was just rested. I locked myself in my room, didn't come out of here, only to use the bathroom. Um, what I ate was like a lot of, um, oh, and they did give me medication. They gave me prednisone and, um, some type of antibiotic for pneumonia and, cough syrup so um took the meds for the time I was directed to take the meds um yeah, it was just sad I had a soup water I drank water just water 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 a lot a whole lot of water um it seemed like I was drinking a bottle of water on the hour every hour um I had soup and I had oranges, and I had grapes, and I had like cherries, I had um, crackers, uh, just light stuff. And uh, I just kind of hung out in here 
and the next day Christmas day I felt a lot better um, I still you know wore a mask I didn't really come out like that um, I was trying to keep myself going but I kept a mask on I had a, a K95 mask that I would wear when I would come out of my room and nobody was allowed to come in um yeah it was just really sad I did come out to watch my kids open their stuff but I had to watch from the other side of the house you know just from the dining room they were in the living room so I'm you know video recording and I'm able to zoom in and you know see everybody's reactions but it's just it was sad it was hard on me it was hard on my kids because I you know I'm a, a, a very affectionate mom I love to kiss their little faces and all of that and it was just really hard for me it was hard for them it was hard um, but I did start to feel better I was um taking also I was taking vitamin C and zinc and I usually take that on a daily but I have gotten really lazy and I gotta get better about this I usually take a vitamin C or a multivitamin and zinc on a daily basis and then I take vitamin D that is a prescription that I got from my doctor I was off of those meds for so long I wasn't even taking my allergy meds and I hadn't been sick in two years I don't even get sick like that but I'm thinking maybe that has something to do with me catching COVID but I, you just never know but I was just so grateful that my case was not severe and I, it didn't require any hospitalization and like all of the things that was stacked against me you know I'm overweight um I was a smoker um and I have asthma <laughs> so just all of those things stacked up against me and it didn't take me out of here and I'm just so grateful and I'm just so happy that because it could have been me it could have been me but it wasn't so I'm just thrilled that I'm here but yeah it was crazy so <laughs> oh, me. my nose ring gets on my nerves this one in particularly Okay, so uh, let me see. For foundation, I am going to use the Superstay Active Wear, and I have it in the shade 355 Coconut. So, when I, um, while I was off quarantine, the CDC came out and said that if you are not showing any symptoms, you can go back to work in five days. So, I'm just like, okay, this is stupid, but okay. You know, so I called, and got a clear understanding like well yeah if you're not showing any symptoms you can come on back to work went back to work Monday um I end up let me see Monday we were closed for like half the day we were open for half the day and we closed early to clean the entire building so that's what we did and uh got a lot of cleaning done and I, I felt better I was happy that we were cleaning the building sanitizing everything which is we clean the building every day but we went through wiped the walls wiped everything all the tables chairs anything you can name cabinets everything so Tuesday I think I worked the whole day Wednesday whole day yesterday came and we had an individual test positive that I take care of. And uh, I was sent home early because <laughs> I was exposed. So this is just a never ending cycle of this pandemic and it's so crazy. Like if you don't have a savings or if you're not prepared, like you would be screwed. Like we used to have, when I first came back to work, we had a policy in place that would protect people, you know, from, um, you know, basically they would pay you if you were out for a COVID related situation. They took that away from us. Now we don't have anything but our PTO time. And that really sucks. Really, really sucks. So, um, yeah, it's just been a whole mess. 
home this. And it's, I'm just starting to feel like, you know, and I know that nothing is certain, but just the fact that, like, your livelihood is in limbo. And when you got bills and stuff to pay, like, it's scary. It's scary. And it's a scary situation to be in. But, I don't know. And I wonder, I don't even know how I got it. Like, this is how... It's crazy how it just it transfers so quickly like I don't even go anywhere I go to work and I go home and I go to the grocery store and that's it I go to church I go to the grocery store and I come home and that's it and I was avoiding going other places because I was in fear of catching it and still caught it so you just never know man and I always wear my mask I don't care where I'm at I don't care where I'm going I always wear my mask not to say that you know it's impossible for people to catch it even if they wear their mask but yeah alright so I'm going to set these areas with my Lord Mercy and banana powder Yesterday, but I was sent home early. But we end up closing the whole building down, and uh, we are supposed to report back on Monday. And I can also report back on Monday, so I'm happy about that. I don't have to miss a whole lot of days off because I cannot afford it. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's just been really crazy. Like this whole this whole two years has been like something out of a storybook, it seems, but it's our reality and it's just crazy. Like hmm. I'm just hoping that it doesn't play out how it did a couple years ago. Like I just remember getting that text like do not report. Like when this whole thing just first kicked off, I'm like you know, at first I was thrilled, like, ooh, get a little break. You know, because I was just saying, like, a day, I remember I was just saying the day before, I need a break from this place. I'm tired of this. And next day, you get that text message, like, do not report. And then you keep getting updates, like, well, we don't know, but we'll keep you updated. Crazy. But... You just never know with these numbers skyrocketing like they are. <laughs> and then my kids' school, they've closed down their school and they're back going virtual for this week. And I think they go back, they go back on the 18th. So, but I will say that I feel a rush of relief that they're not out and at the school being exposed to it. So, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with them being at home. The only thing is, is I got to work out my situation with me, you know, trying to work. That's the only thing I'm concerned about. But other than that, I'm glad that they're not being exposed. It takes a lot of, it takes a lot of um, weight off of my shoulders <laughs> with them being home. I'd rather them be home, you know, on virtual. And I know that, like, virtual is not the idea uh, you know, educational setup, but you know, at this point, what can you do? I am going to, you know, what I got this little bitty thing from. Um, I got it out of a set. It's the Fenty bronzer and Caramel Cutie, and it doesn't look like it's gonna be my shade, but I wanted to try it anyway just to see because I um. 
go a little lighter with the products that I use right now. Yeah, this ain't really, that ain't really giving me much, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch it on over to uh, this uh, reliable, dubious place. <laughs> I'm gonna just keep it simple today. I don't even think I'm gonna contour my nose today because I don't really have much. Of it. I just gotta run a few errands and then I got choir rehearsal later. So. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and highlight and I'm gonna use my cinnamon highlighting matchstick. yesterday uh, when I was lit off of work I went to TJ Maxx and I'm gonna do a short little haul video probably when I'm done filming this and show you guys what I got um, let me see I'm gonna use let me see this Too Faced Kitty Likes to Scratch palette and I'm just gonna do just this brownish. It has like little shimmers in it of gold. So I'm just gonna do one color. I really like this palette. The colors are so cool. sometimes I feel overwhelmed As I feel like I'm doing the same eyeshadow looks I'm gonna try to turn it up a notch for y'all cause it gets boring it gets boring for me sometimes when I look and see that I'm doing the same eyeshadow look over and over but I don't know I, I, I'm just a simple girl when it comes to eyeshadow I really am yeah. We're just going to do that one color. I'm going to take a little bit and go under. So I'm going to use the Superstay Matte Ink. And I think this is in the, yes, it's in the color 75 Fighter. It's like a brownish, orangish. Might need a liner. I might. Right, so I'm going to take this um, Fit Me. And this is, uh, let me see, Fit Me Blush in the shade Deep Wine. I really need to pick up. This is what I went to TJ Maxx for. Look for some blushes because I don't have a lot of them. And I love blush. But I need to get me a few more in some different shades. gonna go ahead and set my face and then I'm gonna apply my lashes and I'll be right back alrighty guys so this is the final look uh, these eyelashes are a bit dramatic for me so I might end up changing them out um oh uh, yeah 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 but that is pretty much it it's a really light look I love this lipstick too by the way it's done dry down I might add a brown liner but I don't know but I am definitely gonna come back with a small haul and uh yeah that is pretty much it thank you guys so so much for watching and uh please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next one